Hey, I have to ask, do you need an email signature or do you need to create a new email signature? And is this signature always in your email? Does that make any sense? Hey, you know what time it is. That's right. It's your boy, George B. Thomas from georgebthomas.com. And today we're going to talk about a HubSpot free tool. And in the future, we're going to talk about other HubSpot free tools that you can use for your business. Now, today we're talking about the email signature generator that HubSpot put together. Link in the description below. Here in a minute, I'm going to show you how to use this email generator to actually build an email that you can be proud of. And I mean, proud of. But there's a couple things to think about here. When I say email signature or free email signature, you might immediately think for your Gmail or your Outlook. And yes, it can be used there. But there's a really great feature inside of HubSpot when you connect your inbox to your HubSpot CRM that allows you to put a signature inside your CRM. You may use it there because when you create automated emails, there's actually a personalization token that will pull that signature into your email and make it look like it's coming from you, even though you might not have sent it out. The other place that I've used this email signature generator is actually for what is in the HubSpot community. If you haven't joined the HubSpot community yet, you should get on that. There's some pretty smart people over there and I'm there too. But my point is you can have a signature on the bottom of all of your posts and this email generator, did I say free email generator, is gonna help you put that in place. Hey, let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. All right, so when you first get to HubSpot.com forward slash email dash signature dash generator, you're gonna see that you can A, pick from six templates. So right here is template one. If we look and see what template two looks like, template three here, I actually kind of like template three. There's template four, template five, and template six. Now, I don't necessarily like how tight template six is, but you do have six different templates that you can choose from. Now, also, if you want to give credit back to HubSpot, you can create your own free signature link or put the create your own free signature link in there. And then I will let you know there are three other tabs where we can actually enter our signature details, the style or theme that you want, as well as different different images. With that said, you will probably want to have links to like your logo and your profile pic ready. In this case, I literally have them open in my HubSpot file manager so you can see them. Then you're going to want to have your profiles for like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I wish they had YouTube, but they don't necessarily have YouTube in here. As you can see, there's only the four. You do have the ability to add a second line here. You know, you might use that for something else like your blog or something along those lines. But what we can do is we can go into the signature details and you're going to see we've got first name. Of course, I added the B in here. Last name, job title. We've got department. If you work for a certain department, you can put that in there. Company name, you can literally put that in there. Office phone number, mobile phone number, your website and email address. If you want to add your address in there, you do have room for that. And then any of your social links, again, like I talked about LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And then this custom field. Notice this field can include whatever you want, such as your working hours, your name, pronunciation, or pronouns if you want to have those in there. So this is, again, custom field. Do whatever you want with it. Now, after that, you're going to go ahead and add your theme color. So we can select the little icon here and we can slide it around. I literally just type in the hex codes that I want for those. You do have different fonts that you can choose. So if we wanted to go with Georgia or Verdana or something along those lines, we'll leave it with Tahoma. And then what's cool is you can go small, you can go medium, or you can go large. I am just going to keep it at medium. Now, once you do that, you can go over here. Notice here's your profile picture. Here is your company logo. Again, all of these instructions come along for the ride. If you do want to have a custom CTA copy or a custom CTA URL, you can put that in there. So in this case, maybe this is where we want to put uh, watch us on YouTube or learn more on YouTube. Notice it says here learn more on YouTube and then we can give it a URL. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and 
come over here to our YouTube channel and we'll come back to signature. And you know what? I want to actually just make this say watch on YouTube. We're going to go ahead and change that. And then we'll go ahead and pick our color, which I'll just grab actually the purple from our theme and we'll drop that in. So you can see how easy this is to use and change your mind as far as things go. And then what we can do from here is we could actually create our signature. But there's a couple things I want to mention. A, we do have the ability to pick a different language. But what's really cool is you've watched this video. Don't know if you need the FAQs, but if you do have additional questions, you can click on this FAQ as it loads and you can just kind of scroll through here. You're going to see that again too because when we come to create this free email signature that we now have, we see we have step one, create, two, confirm, three, download, and you'll see shiny new email signature just for you. And here it is. And actually, I'm going to go back to email templates and I want to pick template three to be honest with you. We'll hit create signature. Again, create, confirm, download. Now notice we can copy signature, copy signature source code, email to your colleagues. Now copying the source code is literally if you use something that you can just put the HTML in, it works. Gmail, you can really just copy the signature. But if you're adding it to HubSpot, adding it to Gmail, adding it to Outlook, any of these, you can literally click on it and it'll tell you kind of what to do or the instructions on how to do it. Now in this case, I went ahead and copied the signature and I went ahead and put it in my Gmail. But before we head over there and look at what it looks like, if you haven't added a signature to HubSpot, you should definitely watch the getting started or getting set up with HubSpot series and definitely see how you can add a signature, currencies, time zones, things like that to help you get started with HubSpot. But if we go over here, you can see I have my signature in place. Literally, we just went settings, all settings in Gmail, went down to the signature. And because I had hit copy, we just pasted it and we are good to go. So again, with the email signature creator, it's that simple. It's that easy. Now notice, make your email strategy even stronger. That's right. Track and log your emails, schedule meetings faster and send email free with HubSpot. You can definitely check those out. And why wouldn't you? HubSpot just gave you a free email signature. So now that you know how to generate a free email signature, think about this. Your signature could be one of your most powerful marketing and sales elements. Having that customizable call to action, giving people the easy ways to contact you, you need to get that in place in the right way for your system. Also, what's next? Well, time to execute. Go do it. That's right. Execute on the education that you just got. And remember to be a happy, helpful, humble human along the way. And if you want to keep learning about HubSpot, watch this video right here.